If you're looking for cheap and reliable Ultimate Team coins, then definitely go ahead, click the link in the description to vbarrack.com. Like I said, they're very cheap and reliable, and um, definitely worth it. So go ahead and check them out for yourself. Enjoy the video. What is going on everyone, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2014. Now as you can see here, we've got a bunch of lists um, of the teams that we can actually be for this. Now I've decided just to go with the Premier League um, as the new the new uh, Football Manager actually comes out in a couple of months. So I wanted to stick with this and what the team that I'm going to be is I'm going to be go I'm going to go ahead and be Liverpool. Now this is using the LFC transfer update. Um, so if we view the squad here. We do have the likes of Lallana. We do have the likes of, uh, where is he, where is he, where is he? Mario Balotelli. Um, so we do have all of these really good players um, to use. So I'm thinking about starting with Liverpool. They might have a little bit of money, probably not too much. Um, but we're going to stop with them anyway. And um, hopefully we could do pretty well there. I'll predicted to finish fifth. Um, but we will hopefully try and out, out go, out, well, I don't know. Um, out exceed that um, or something so we're gonna go ahead and try our best to do so so we're just gonna save it quickly um, as you can see we are taking charge at Liverpool um, we're gonna have a message from the the board and also from like the, the manager and stuff oh I didn't mean to do that go away all right so Liverpool uh, KG takes over at Liverpool um, at Anfield Pff, enjoys a grand reputation and I uh, hope that his appointment will take Liverpool into bigger and better things thank you very much personal message all right um, they want me to play possession football, which I can do. They want me to play attacking football and sign young players for the first team. Develop players using the club's youth system. All right. Um, uh, there you go. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Liverpool are obviously a club with a lot of history. The fans appreciate when a newly appointed manager has taken the time to increase their knowledge at the club. Um, I appreciate you might already know a fair amount of, about Liverpool's background, but I can send a detailed overview. All right, I'll, I'll love to learn more. We got twenty-five million pounds and also one point six mil on the wages, so not too bad. Um, I, I can I can deal with that. They want us to play possession football, play attacking football, and sign young players. Also develop the young players as well through the youth system. Um, I don't feel a meeting is required. I'm pretty good with that. It's tradition to hold a press conference. Do I want to do that or do I not? I'd rather know. I'd rather just try not to delay it as much. Um, and go ahead and uh, just try and get into this as far as we can. So, thanks for answering my questions. I'm now going to hand over the meeting to the assistant manager. He's got a few things to talk about. Um, on the final note, the club has many responses, uh, many responsibilities which can either be handled by yourself or other members of staff. Feel free to adjust the staff responsibilities within the club as you see fit. Great. So, Colin Pas Pasco, Pascal, um, your assistant manager. I've got uh, some questions to ask regarding the day-to-day -day running of the squad. Firstly, before we talk about team policies, do you want to range a friendly? No, because we have so many friendlies anyway. Um, I've wrote a Would you like me to send it to you? No, thanks. I'm already familiar with the squad. Would you like me to arrange a meeting with the rest of your staff? Yes, that would be fantastic. Um, every three months. I don't really want that much. Um, friendlies. So, I want you to set up the friendlies. Um, press conferences. I want you to do the press conferences. Reserve and youth team. You can do that as well, I guess. Um, and yes, I want the same the same style of football to be played from the youth to senior level at the club. Would you like me to help with any more tasks? Um, training? I guess we could give them training. Um, all training and match preparation. And if we need anything, if we need anything else, we can always change it. So uh, I could do that. Um, opposition instructions. Team talks, I want that. Opposition instructions. We could also do the same thing here. Um, he will set the opposition instructions as he sees fit, and then I could change it if I want something else being being done. So agent office and team talks, that's that, they're the things that I want to do. Conversations ended. Conversations ended. Okay, Liverpool transfer update. Um, okay, Harry Mark Manquillo. Harry Manquillo. He's 19. Um, he's online to us. Oregi Sebastian Coates, who's actually quite a good player. Um, Luis Alberto Aspas um, to Sevilla as well, and Thiago Lori as well. Who's there? The, a few of the players that are online. New subscriptions. We're subscribed. We're subscribed to all of these things. Subscribe, not subscriptive. Well done, Michael. 
even though it's like one in the morning. Okay, so Liverpool background. We've won the Champions League five times. We've won the Europa League three times. Won the Super Cup three times. Won the Barclays Premier League 18 times. Won a Skybet Championship four times. And we've won the FA, FA Cup seven times. Our youth facilities are three and a half star. Our training facilities are four star. Um, and that's pretty much it. A junior coaching is average junior coaching. Youth recruitment, established youth recruitment. Not too bad. Um, we'll do all of this stuff in a sec. Scouting team welcomes you to Liverpool. Santon, he could actually be quite good. Chesney and goal as well. We don't really need a goalkeeper. Okay, so assistant manager Colleen Pascal Pasco uh, thinks he, now would be a good time to introduce yourself to the players and let them know. All right, team meeting. Um, hmm. Okay, let's go for it. Passionate. I want to introduce myself. Welcome, I'm pleased to see you in charge, and hope your reign is long and successful. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to win the title. I think we can probably qualify for the Champions League. I'm delighted that we share the same level of ambition. Um, we qualify for the Champions League. I think it's a bit unrealistic thinking about qualify for the Champions League. I don't think I'll be. In, it gives everyone 100. percent If everyone gives 100, percent we can achieve what I said. Um, you're right. Those expectations are fine. Yeah, that's what I freaking thought, mate. Um. Um. I guess a misjudged situation. No re Oh, there, okay. Okay, 16 players reacted well. All right, so they're all on decent morale. Um, okay. All right, to meet your staff. Let's go ahead and do this. Adriano, he's the left-back, right? Yeah, left-back from Barca. He's actually quite good. I'm going to scout him. And Nag Nagatomo as well um, is another prospect that we could bring in the left-back. Um, we're going to go ahead and scout him. Steven Gerrard should be taking free kicks. Of course he can. Look at his free kick taking, mate. He's got 17 free kick taking. Um, and also, Ricky Lambert as a potential free kick taker. He's got 16 free kicks. Holy Christ, Ricky Lambert's good. Um, should be taking corners. Steven Gerrard does in real life anyway, so we're going to go ahead and give that to him. Should be taking penalties. He does in real life anyway. Ricky Lambert. Um, I just want to look at Balotelli's because Balotelli has got some decent uh, penalties in real life. Let's have a look. Penalty taking 19. Holy mother of Christ. Let's look at Steven Gerrard. He's got 17. Definitely going to add Balotelli. Let's look at Ricky Lambert. He's got 20. Wow. Ricky Lambert, man. You're impressive. Um, I'll sort out the formation. Um, okay. Cameron Cameron Brannigan um, is a good prospect. Yeah, he's actually quite good. Um, Rossiter. That's cool. Well. He's got some decent mental attributes. Bearing in mind he's only 16. Um, he's got some good stats. He's got uh, stamina as well, which is good. Um, that's not too bad. All right, Wilson. And he's got average stats either way. He's going to be a very good average player, I think. All right. Uh, that's good. All right, anything else? I think that is it. We can set an assignment. Um, scout knowledge. Okay, new assignment. No, let's just cancel it. New assignment. Um, location. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go to? Do we want to go? Do we want to stick with England? Bring English players into Liverpool. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that actually. Uh, scout with potential is at least is at least very good. He's going to be. They've got to be quality players. Um, okay, I think that's good. I think that's good. They're not going to bring that many players in, but I think that's good. All right, back into tactics. All right, now one thing that I really should have said at the start is that literally, guys, I I'm not the best player in the world at this game. As you can tell, I, I've got about 50-odd hours into the gameplay. Um, but coming from someone who never really played foot manager before this game, I'm not that good. So, sorry. But if there's anything else you need me to know, then let me know in the comments. Um, that will be fantastic. All right, so, Minilay, he's going to be in goal. Of course he's going to be in goal. And he is going to be a goalkeeper, of course. Um, all right. Uh, okay, so, I'm going to go by picked. Um, I'm also going to make this a, a custom tactic as well. Um, first, first tack tick. All right, just like to keep it easy. All right, so I'm thinking maybe maybe we could have uh, two midfielders. We could have I uh, think maybe four one two one two. So four one two one two. We could have the two strikers. We maybe Ricky Lambert um, and Baratelli or Sturridge and Baratelli up front. Um, the likes of Sterling and Cam, or we could have Sterling in the right mid. Um, I don't know. We just have a, we just have a look. So, Colatore is good. I'm thinking maybe Skirtle or Lovren's decent. Um, Sacco is definitely going to play because Sacco's got some quality stats. He's such a good player in real life. Uh, he's got good marking, good tackling. 
Um, he's got good heading. He's such a good, such a good player. Um, his jumping reach is 14 as well. He's good. He's got some good stamina, good strength. So he's definitely going to play there. We're going to play you as a, obviously just a regular central defender. All right. Um, Steven Gerrard. Now, do I want you? Yeah, we're going to play Steven Gerrard. You know, Stevie G, the old legend himself. He's a beast. 33, and um, he's still a quality player. So he's definitely going to play. I'm also going to put Brad Jones as the first substitution, as he's the only goalkeeper that we have left. Um, so he's going to be our first substitution. Mario Balotelli. Now, um... I want Mario Balotelli on the left, and we're also going to play Sturridge on the right because Sturridge is left-footed, so he can cut in on his right. Um, uh, cut in on his left, sorry, which is going to be good. All right, so we're going to keep the Mario Balotelli. Let's look at some of his stats. He's got 17 finishing, 19 penalty taking, 16 composure, 17 flair. Oh, my God, man. He's just so good. He's just so good. All right, so Enrique, Jose Enrique. He's 27. He's actually got some good... He's, got, he's actually quite good um, so far. I think it's either him or Flanagan, and... Don't get me wrong, Flanagan's a good player. But I'm thinking Jose Enrique can go in the left-back position. I'm going to play you as a complete wing-back, um, as that is your preferred position. So, quick, uh, complete wing-back. All right, is there any way I can actually... I can't tell me what that does, can't I? It's going to take me a little while to get used to this, guys. Remember that, remember that. Um, Queen loves to attack whilst he's capable of occupying his defensive duties. The nurturing... Uh, All right, yeah, okay. Right, so he's got decent crossing, decent dribbling, good uh, decisions, good flair, good work rate, good teamwork, good positioning, good tackling, good marking, good stamina, good acceleration. So he's good. He's good to go. He is good to go. Glenn Johnson as well. He can play right, can't he? Glenn Johnson at right back. Kyle Torre can play right back as well, but I don't really want him at right back. John Flanagan can play right back, but to be honest, Glenn Johnson's going to have to play there. Glenn Johnson is a natural there. And he prefers... Let's go and have a look at him quickly. He prefers to play as a just a regular wing-back. So let's go ahead and put wing-back. Like so. Let's click on that. So he's got good crossing, good marking, good tackling, good positioning, good teamwork, good work rate, good stamina, good acceleration. He's going to be a good wing-back. Hopefully he'll play well there. Um, Sacco. Let's look at Sacco. He's got good heading, good marking, good tackling, good positioning, good determination, good decisions, good composure, good concentration. He's got some really good stats. Um, so he's going to be a quality defender. Let's look at Skirtle. Skirtle's got the stats that like stand out, um, which could be useful. What other defenders have we got? Lovren. He's a new signing, I believe, isn't he? I believe he's a new signing. Um, it's going to be weird. But anyway, Lalana. I kind of want Lalana to play in right mid. Um, in attacking mid, sorry. We're going to play Sterling. Sterling. Hmm. Let's play Sterling in right. Oh, he can't play there. He's just competent there. Right now, there is a way. Um, midfield, right. They tell you to play midfield right, so I might actually have to play like that. Like that, maybe. Can I pull him back? He's accomplished there. He's going to have to play there for now. Um, actually, no. How much better does he play there? About half a star, so it should be okay. Um, deep line midfielder, box to box of midfielder, advanced playmaker. I'm going to play Adam Lalana as an advanced playmaker. Um, he prefers playing like that anyway. I'm going to click on these stats. He's got good first touch. He's got good passing, good technique, good work rate, good teamwork, good flair, um, good creativity, good decisions, good stamina. Well, decent stamina. He's not got the best stamina. But hopefully that will improve over time. Um, Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard. Or we could play him like that and put Gerrard like that. Um, could do that, I guess. Or we could just pull one of these back. But I kind of want to stick with two, two attackers up front. Now, I'm going to stick... Apparently, we have to play attacking. They want us to play attacking, so we're going to have to stick with that mentality. Um, the familiarity... Blah, 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 that one. Um, familiar... Ar I can never pronounce that word. You know what I mean, right? They're not really familiar with it. Um, so I'm hoping that they will become better with that. We've got Borini as well who could play there. In left mid, Markovic. This guy is a freaking beast, man. I'm not even kidding you. He's so good. Um, and he might actually be our best prospect as a left mid. Uh, can Starmage actually play there? He's, what, accomplished there? So we could push Balotelli up front. And we could play like this. Push Lallana there. Um, Steven Gerrard's probably our best, best player there. He's probably going to want to play attacking midfielder, isn't he? Advanced playmaker. So he wants to play advanced playmaker at that position. So we're going to keep him like that. We're going to have Daniel Sturridge as a left mid. He likes to 
he prefers to be a winger. So we're going to keep him as that. What is his stats? He's got okay crossing. He's got good dribbling. Uh, good technique. Good decisions. Good flair. Good off the ball. Um, really good physical stats. So that's good. Um, Balotelli. I think his preferred position there. His preferred position is a poacher. Um, so Prime is a poacher. Um, what are his stats there? So good dribbling, good first touch, good um, dribbling, uh, finishing. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anticipation, composure, good off the ball. Um, and some decent physical stats. So he's good there. Sterling, we could play there. Now we need a centre mid. I'm thinking Jordan Henderson. Jordan Henderson is a quality player. I think he's got some good potential um, in the future. Uh, in the future, Lucas Eave is good. Um, but I prefer Jordan Henderson, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Uh, okay. Jordan Henderson. Let's have a look at him. He prefers to play as a box-to-box -box midfielder, which could actually work out with, for us. So, Prime is a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's got good dribbling, good uh, finishing, good first touch. Okay heading. Um, actually, pretty poor heading. Um, decent long throws. Decent marking. Okay, uh, pretty decent passing. Um, some good stats. He's got 20 stamina as well. Holy Christ. Um, so he's good there. So we just really need a defender. I'm thinking Skirtle. Skirtle's probably our best bet. Yeah, central defender. He's got good heading, good marking, good t uh, good tackling, good composure, good concentration, um, good decisions, good determination, good positioning, good jumping, reaching, good strength. So he'd be a good player. I think that's pretty much the best starting lineup that I could possibly get at the minute. Um, okay, Kodotoro I'm going to put as the second substitute. So you could play right back and centre back, so you'd be good to put on the bench. John Flanagan, I'm also going to put on the bench. Third substitute, so they're the defenders that I want. Ricky Lambert, I'm going to put you as the striker of the team um, that's on the bench. Now, Lucas Yeva. Hmm. Who else do I want on the bench? Joe Allen's good. Joe Allen's good. Um, Markovic, I'm definitely going to want on the bench. I want him at the sixth substitute. I. I tend to go for like the goalkeeper being the first, all the way up to the striker being the seventh, um, which is just me personally. But I don't know. I prefer that. Oh, Moreno, he's a new signing. He's a new signing. I forgot about him. Jose Enrique. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I want to con. The comparison on this is like so confusing. So I kind of want to just test this out. So playing as a complete wing back, um, he's actually pretty good. Jose Enrique is really good. Um, if I was to put Moreno there, and I played him, I take it he wants to be a complete wing back as well, which is good. Um, he's actually got better stats, I would say. So having having Jose Enrique a left back could be good. So let's actually put him on for Joe uh, Joe Flanagan there, and uh, that could be good. We could have him on the reserves, but he'll probably come on. He'll probably play quite a bit, but for now. He's okay there. Emery can. Um, Coutinho. Coutinho is a quality prospect. I'm really annoyed that I can't... Uh, he can't really fit anywhere. Sterling is accomplished there. So is Lallana. Lallana is accomplished there as well. What is his best position at... What is his best... He pretends to play a winger. He well, prefers to play a winger. So we'll keep him at winger and then see his, so he's got good crossing, good dribbling... Good technique, good decisions, good flair, good off the ball. He could actually be better off playing there. Um, attacking midfielder would be my guess with him. Inside forward. Oh, inside forward. This could this could be good. Um, he's not on there, though, you little freaking noob. Why why you lied to me, huh? Um, shadow striker. Oh, I've never even heard of that one before. going to have to read what that is. Shadow striker. So, the Shadow Striker operates as the team main goal scoring threat. Usually uh, coupled with a deep lying forward, the Shadow Striker aggressively pushes forward into goal scoring positions as the ball moves into the final third and looks to close down op uh, opposing defenders when out of position. Uh, possession. Sorry. So, do I really want to play him there? Do I really want to play him as Shadow Striker? We could try it. We could try it, I guess. We could try it, but for now, I'm going to try and keep it like that. Um, let's just try and get the substitutes gone. So we need two more substitutes, and obviously, Coutinho is definitely going to be a substitute because he, I'm going to play him a lot. Um, so Lucas Lieva. Maybe Lucas Lieva could be the next one. That's probably the best bet. Um, Lucas Lieva, we're going to bring you in. So, 
that I think is going to be the, the the end of this first episode, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. All of the links that you need are in the description. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to try and look for a few players that we can bring in for £25 million and um, has a wage budget of around 120 So hopefully we're going to do that. Um, that could be quite good. Uh, let me know in the comments who you think I should buy. Um, so... Yeah, and also let me know, where where do you think I'm going to come in the table at the end of this series? Let me know, um, because I'm curious as to what you think um, I will be uh, towards the end of the series. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.